sweep running on this 40,000 bushel bin here. Uh, this is the next, the last bin of yellow corn we have at the home farm, but we still got quite a bit left because this uh, 190,000 bushel bin still, uh, it's still pretty full though. One more bin trying to clean out. Been all year trying to fill them up. This has been all winter trying to get them empty. Pile of corn. It's a pile of corn. Hmm. <sighs> well, get out and start shoveling, River. Me, Dave, and River over here, Indiana. Got a little bit of a mess. Truck driver couldn't get the hopper shut. We'll investigate that a little bit, but first, uh, got a little bit of a mess to clean up. Just a small one. He just just a couple grains. That's several buckets. One bucket down. We got two dumps over here. This one, it's the hoppers where they pull over for the hopper. We got a mat over it. We used to have a pit cover instead. That might have been better because it will at least fell in there, but uh, can't get in that one yet. So we're taking it from that one, dumping in that pit, which will go up that big leg, and then back in the hopper. We'll get cleaned up. Just gonna take a few hours. progress where we'll get the mat off that will just be able to go to the pit right that where it's next to that'll be a lot quicker i don't know if david's keeping track of how many buckets he's doing but uh this pit over here we've done three full ones and then plus whatever's left here sweep this up yeah uh, uh, three and a half something like that cleaned up Fred's first truck to make it back we'll get him loaded make sure everything works fine we can't see anything wrong to why the uh, hopper didn't shut off I am getting ready to put a bike rack on my tractor Hemway bikes electric Electric Assist Bicycles have contacted us about a bike. So they're going to send us a bike. And this is the first process. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put a bike mount up here, hopefully, hold a bicycle, a Hemway Electric Assist Bicycle. Then I'm going to put on the back of my seed wagon, I think it would be a good easy place to put it, a bike rack. So then if I'm in an area like Indiana, which there's fields, it's like a couple miles apart there. Up at Robson, there's some mile, mile and a half part, or even a half mile. 
and nobody's around, I can take my tractor up there, grab my bike, go down the road with my electric assist bike, which I think it'll run 25 with you helping pedal, 15 without, depending on how I feel that day. Go back up to the shed, get my seed wagon, put it on the back of the seed wagon, and that's where it'll set while I'm planting that field. And then if I move again, I'll take the seed wagon first, come back and get my tractor. It saved a lot of trouble. I think it's going to work out great. Remember the witch on the Wizard of Oz with the hat riding the bicycle? I think it's a witch. Maybe it'll get me one of them hats right down the, bike, down the lane. I'm not going to drive it 30 miles back home or something, but I'm going to drive it up to three or four, maybe even five, to uh, get my other part, be more a little more self-sufficient, not have to rely on somebody else that's already busy. So just starting today, just starting to make the mount. Whenever I got a bicycle rack, but I got to get it mounted to the front of my tractor, I would have put it on the back of the planter, but the planter would have to be down to get it on there. And I don't want to be, because I may have to fold up to get to where the bike is at the seed wagon or something. So I'm going to put it up here on the front. So, and I'm also going to order another one of these boxes. One of these Montezuma boxes, which is a whole lot better than what comes on tractors and things put on this one that I'm planting with this year instead of moving that and back and forth. So that's my plans. I'll check with you later on the progress. Well, you have to wonder how many parts can a little bike rack come in? Well, these are separate. Got this piece here, it's supposed to go in your receiver. All these parts. Several parts to a little bike rack. I never put one together before for a vehicle, but anyway. This is what I decided to do. This is the piece that's supposed to go in your receiver. This is probably what I'll do, get another piece like this to uh, go in a receiver and bolt the receiver actually to the back of my seed trailer. And then if you ever want to put it on the back of your truck, you can use the same rack. So anyway, here's what I'm doing underneath the tractor. You got this big heavy cast weight, which I don't know what thing weighs. I've drilled one hole here through it bolting up through the cast weight, go build another hole here. Then this will be nice and substantial. And uh, that'll work good. And then out here, we'll bolt the bike rack together. I thought about bolting it here, taking this big bolt right here out of the weight, piece of angle up here, bolting. But then I thought, if I decide this is too low for like hitting a big wash or something in front, the way it is now, I can unbolt two bolts, flip it over, pull that piece off, put it back on here, and be good to go. So that's why I'm using two bolts here, instead of using this bolt and this bolt. <laughs> well, I got it on there. I don't know how. Seems kind of flimsy. I guess it's all right. I had to turn her over because I thought it was too low, so I had to turn this over. Then this was tipped up, so it hit this. So we heated it here and bent this out. And this goes up and down to hook on your bike. Bike sets in here and these cheap little Velcro wraps. I don't know about them, but that's what's supposed to hold the wheels in there. So anyway, it's going too far. I could zip tie it, but it probably won't be going that far. Got it jacked up yesterday and there's a torsion bar that goes from there to there to help stabilize it. Took it off. We are going to be taking these extensions out. Remember last year we lost the track. This this is what broke right here. Then we uh, reinforced that here with some angle iron, welded that on to make it stronger. Talking the case, we are going to, other guys have done it, should be okay. We're just gonna take this piece out, move these tracks in closer think it'll be better for it. We think it'll help it uh, stay centered better because it'll actually line up with the tractor tracks that being on the outside. Our tracks are actually got a little groove on them. This bear may not help that too because it won't be off the side of the road as much. Just hopefully it's not too tippy.
Okay. What's the part? Pull that bolt pull out or No, it just the whole thing rotated. Oh. Backwards. Oh. Yeah. Rotated right there. Alright, come ahead in, son. See what we got. One of them moved before, after. All right, got them both moved in. Now we're jacking it up. We're gonna torque the torsion bar. Kind of holds the two sides together underneath there and then uh, torque all these bolts that holds it to the frame. Got everything torqued. Now we're just trying to get our toe end right to where the front and the back are even so it's pulling straight. Going again? Yeah, went way up. All right, so like I told you, we're trying to get these uh, two tracks, the front of them in, so they're running, not running duck-legged or duck-footed or however you say it. Anyways, we want them to run straight. You're supposed to adjust it by turning that cylinder. It will not turn. So we're gonna take it off, try some heat, but to get that pin out, it's been a chore. Now I got some forks, got some wrenches to make it bigger, thicker. We're about to get it. That was a chore. We got it out. You can see why it didn't want to spin. We can see the threads are messed up in there. Messed and, that, up. and now that we got it out, tell tell them what tell them what you what you're gonna do now. Now, we're going, now to that we, that we're going to do away with it. We're going to get the kit they got so you ain't got a steerable back axle, so you don't have to worry about it. Staying straight in the field. Straight. Straight. Yeah, right. The only time you use it is going down the road for culvert. We can get by that there. We've had it. It rained a lot last night. Thunder, you're not going to believe this. Dad's taking it to a machine shop to get that end threaded, both ends. So we don't have a tap and die that big. And uh, anyways, I guess the tailgate wasn't latched good. And now it's missing. So. Hopefully we find it, and hopefully I find it before somebody's car finds it. Hello, YouTube. We've been off the air for a while because we're taking it easy. We're in deep south Texas and enjoying the weather. It's a little overcast today. It's about 73 or 4, somewhere in there. You can see the camper behind me there. That's uh, our living quarters for now. Here's a uh, view out the backside. There's a few cottages here, but mostly it's RVs. There's the border wall what there is of it. It's uh, pretty close, as you can see. Across the road from us, they're playing old people tennis. I got a name for that. They play that at home, too. There's uh, two different courts over here, and they're used quite a bit. There's card games, and there's different tracks you can take. If you want to go to the beach or bird watching or whatever, and almost everybody's got a dog of some kind. That's pretty prevalent, but you don't miss things at home. And I look at YouTube too to see what's going on. We'll be coming home for long and get back to normal. I remembered the name of the game. It's pickleball, of course. There's a court there. Another one over there. And if you want to play ping pong, we have a table here. A couple picnic tables to relax at. And there is four circles i believe as you can see the rvs are in a circle here and there's three more up toward the 
main entrance. And they're not full, but they've got a lot of people here. There's the Travel Supreme over there. It's a really a nice park. It's well kept up and um, works out well. Got a nice spot. Shop update. Got the Kenworth in, servicing it, and putting the wet kit back on. It used to be on it, now back on it because we're going to be using this truck. For the uh, new tanker that we're going to haul 28 on and we need uh, hydraulics to run it. So David's been working on that. Still working on the planter. All the rows are done. Placing bushings on the wing wheels. Got those in. Just waiting on seals here. Hopefully those come in today or at the beginning of next week. We never found the cylinder. I don't, I don't know where it went. Somebody probably stopped pick it up, so that's gone forever. But we're getting a kit. So yeah, see a cylinder like that along the road somewhere. That's ours. But we're getting a kit. It's no longer gonna steer. It's just gonna just gonna stay in one spot. Got this for temporary until we get the kit, just so we can move it around here and get it out of the shop or whatnot. I think Dad picked that up the Rural King. River's cleaning. This guy is going to put a Montezuma box that he ordered from Walmart on this tractor. Up here by my bike rack, it's going to be closer to my bike rack. Yeah, did you talk about your bike rack? I did talk about my bike rack. His new e-bike coming. It's shipped, so maybe next week. We'll see it. Most exciting thing, John Deere knock on shelves. We put a lot of them in Mm-hmm. Guess what just showed up? The Hemway. New bike that's gonna use to help and get moved around. We're also gonna put it on the Traco to help get moved around so you don't have to walk as far and all that, but more on this later. It's gonna have its own video. Well, we got it all together. We'll have more videos on us riding it and what we're mounting it to next week, but looks good. Good color, isn't it? Color of my truck. You like that, don't you? I like it on a bike. <laughs> I like it on a bike. On a bike. Just on a bike? You don't yeah. like it on trucks? No, not Too me. pretty for you? Yeah. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Rides good. Yep. Yep. Yeah. How was the road this week? Good. Good? Good week. Lines were decent and... Well, nine hours today, that's a good day. That is a good day. Yep. You got anything over there? I'm getting that truck out of here next week. Maybe today. Next week. Maybe today. Well, we're kind of winding down for the week, so. Yeah. That's it for this week. Want your Irish stuff? irish-farms.myshopify.com. Thanks for watching. See you next week.